turned up the boss or the backing plate to put the 5C collet chuck on and we're just doing a bit of checking. We put the collet chuck on and it had a little bit of run out. So we're just going through, I've just returned this, I've got an indexing mark here so it always goes on in the exact same place and we just have nothing there, no run out at all. Which is what you'd expect. They're half our increments on this, so that's good. That's what the chuck bolts to. We've just dressed this surface here and this surface through here is a nice snug fit. I'll take the dial gauge out of the way and back up a little bit. And the collet chuck I just found a tiny little burr on one of these, so I've countersunk all these holes and I've just stoned that just to try and make sure it's nice and clean and there's no little marks or bumps or anything like that. But I can actually sit the chuck on that one two millimetre boss and it wants to stay there. So we've got to be pretty true. I'll just run him around and find a hole. There we go. I'll bolt this up and I'll come back in a minute. Right, I have my hand shadow shading that. And now run out on the boss. There's nothing. So we'll just come now. It's a ground finish on the on the collet chuck. I'll pull all this back a little bit, give it a bit more shade. That's not much good, but look, that's not the surface that matters really. Well, we've got the chuck mounted tight now. Um, all the bolts are nipped up nice and tight, and um, I've tensioned them in different manners to see if it made any difference, but it doesn't. And we have a maximum three thou run out where the collet goes. that's as good as we're going to get. So I'm going to put a collet in, um, put like an end mill or something in it and we're going to see if, what run out we end up with um, with a collet in it. So stay tuned. Well I've got an end mill sitting in the sitting in the collet so we're just making sure that we're right in the center so we know we're right on the axis Three and a bit, three and a quarter, doesn't quite make it to the half there mark, oh it gets close though doesn't it? So that's as close as this um, chuck is going to get. Well this is what I've come up with for setting the angle of the compound here for grinding the internal on the 5C collet chuck here. Now it's a bit hard for you to see see the dial gauge but I can run it back and forth or the test indicator I can run it back and forth it goes up onto the taper there then we can do the full length then it drops off the other end so I'll see if I can get a better picture just of the dial gauge so you can see what we're doing okay looks like you can see that okay 
So we're just coming on to the taper there, and then it goes to zero. We, we wind him out the full length of the ground surface inside there, and we drop off again. So, so we know we have the angle right. Well, here's a setup you don't see every day. The we have a small die grinder put into a boring bar holder on the quick change tool post. We've squared it all up so it's exactly 90 degrees to the cross slide. In the chuck here, we have a diamond out of the valve grinding tool. We've set the stone here to height, to centre height. And so now I'm just going to run the stone past there just to true it up. Make sure it's nice and true before we stick it into the stick it into the collet holder. So let's just see how we go. Right, I've changed stones. I just wasn't happy with that other one. I wasn't coming up nice. Okay, that's nice and round. We'll now set this up parallel with the compound here and we should be right. Okay, this is now parallel with the compound so when we go in it should go in nice and straight. That flat part of the stone should run along up nice and square. So you might hear a bit of compressor noise but we'll give it a go. <laughs> Well, I continued grinding, and um, look, I've got it. Each mark is half a thou, and I've got it barely half a thou, just on half a thou. So I'm going to leave it at that. I don't think I'll get it much closer than that um, with what I've got available to do it, 
The only thing I could do is perhaps do a bigger stone, you know, a bigger diameter stone maybe, but um, look, half a thou, half a thou is not going to make any difference to most of the stuff I do, and I've got to stop bumping that anyway. <laughs> but um, look, we're going to call that done. That'll be the job of mounting a cheap Chinese collet chuck.